Marine Service. Today I'm going to show you a 1996 Sea Ray 210 Signature. This boat's a 21 foot boat, really nice shape. Uh, purchased from us new back in 96. Uh, the gel coat is in very good condition. The boat was always kept under a full cover, which is included here. So the top gel coat is, is phenomenal. The side gel coat looks real good too. And there's hardly any marks to even speak of. One little mark, unfortunately, on the uh, on the starboard side, which I'll point out. But other than that, the boat is in very good condition. As you can see, this one sports the full canvas enclosure, which gives you the bow cover, the convertible top, two side curtains, and an aft curtain. So you can close the whole boat up if you get caught in inclement weather. Uh, that's a nice feature about this boat. And all of these materials are in very, very good condition. It doesn't even look like it was used that much at all. Trailer is a custom Eagle trailer. Brakes on both axles. Um, it is custom matched to the boat. Uh, the boat is in very good condition, almost excellent, should I say. Uh, trailer, a little faded. Uh, and a little bit with the, with the carpeting here, but other than that, the boat's in, the trailer's in nice shape. Mechanically, everything has been gone over. As we come around the back here, what I'll point out is ladder stows neatly on the back of the platform here. This drops down for easy access up into the back of the boat. The outdrive, excellent condition as well. Uh, you don't see there's hardly any marks on here. Color is really good. Looks like it's been very well maintained on the back here. For hopping up inside the boat, the ladder makes it very easy. And I wanted to leave this canvas up because I wanted to show you what it looks like in its entirety. And it really is a nice feature. Uh, brand new, it's over a thousand dollars for an option. And uh, this boat has it on it. It also would extend your boating season too. You get go out in the fall, great time to go boating get some cool weather, you can close everything up. Inside the boat here, inside the boat, this boat has the, the starboard side bucket seat, port side back to back, and two jump seats in the back. Take a look at the kind of room that you have inside here. Loads of leg room inside the boat. You can easily put maybe an extra cooler on board uh, inside here. Or if you're doing a lot of water sports, having this extra space is nice because now you can you can move about a little bit easier as you're prepping for, for doing water skiing or, or what have you. Plenty of room inside this boat. The other nice feature about the jump seats in the back is they do come up and form a sun pad. Both seats will do that, so now you can you can easily lay out in the back of the boat. Catch some rays. Or just leave it down. In fact, on this side, might be hard to see from that angle, but on this side there's also a, uh, a storage bin you could use as a cooler or as a step to step in and out of the boat without stepping onto the seats. As I mentioned before, inside here, the canvas is nice and tall. When you sit here at the helm, you can look right through the windshield. So if you did get caught in inclement weather, uh, like I said, you can close this up and, and still be able to navigate. Tons of leg room inside the boat here. You can also adjust it with the turn of this switch here, or this uh, knob. You can get in tight or push yourself way back. So you got loads of leg room inside the boat. Additionally, tilt steering wheel. So just about anybody can get comfortable behind the helm on this boat. What I really liked about these signature models of the of the mid to late 90s was how detailed they did everything inside the boat. These combings, you have the aluminum trim here. Everything is all fiberglass underneath here. What makes this so, so nice is it's nice and sturdy, but also it's a nice place to put your arm. When you're, uh, when you're operating the, uh, the boat with the throttle, very easy to lay your arm right here and you can adjust the throttle very easily with your hand. If you're doing water sports, it makes it nice to kind of keep that speed just right. Up on the dashboard, all your instruments are right here, easy to see. The steering wheel does not interfere with any of them. Depth finder here, compass up to the, uh, to the left up there as well, and all your switches right here, easy to get to. In the center, AM, FM, cassette. 
that's there as well. So you got some tunes on board uh, with speakers inside here as well. You got two up underneath here and two in the back. In the floor here, floor storage, uh, you can see inside here as well, uh, what we have is we have skis, we have some, some extra ski lines and things, little bonuses that go with the boat, they're all right here. The glove box on this side is huge. You got loads of room to put stuff down inside there, you can see the depth that you have. Onboard cooler, a 12 pack with lots of ice would easily fit inside here cup holders all over the place. You have cup holders here, cup holders down by your, by the driver, cup holder on this side, cup holders in the back, got cup holders everywhere. The back-to-back -back seat here, this does adjust, but it also opens up for a lounger as well. What we do is we loosen up the knobs here, and what you can do with this is it slides front and back so that you can get comfortable on either side here. Plus, it does open up drops down, another lounger here as well. Or if you just wanted some additional seating inside the boat, if you're just hanging out, you can put a lot more people inside the boat then. To get up into the bow, it's actually quite easy. With this canvas up, what you can do is unzip that, this comes up, purpose here with leaving all this canvas up was just to show you what it looks like all together. Uh, you know, typically out on the water, you're not going to have this all up. In fact, this convertible top stows completely away in the back of the boat. Stop up and take a look up close and I'll show you how that works. But this does stow completely away. Up in the bow area here, tons of leg room. Two people can easily sit up, up here. You got storage underneath the seats, storage on the side here as well, cup holders right where you need it. And even up on the very front of the boat, anchor storage up here as well. In fact, there's an anchor here with line. So you got everything you need to go boating for the day. It's all right here. And this boat's in, uh, the interior's in very good condition. The, the upholstery is really good. I didn't see any cuts or marks really to speak of. Um, it's clean, it, it looks really good. Certainly something to take a look at. And for this price, to get into boating for the first time, you don't need to spend a ton of money. But you don't need to buy anything that's garbage either. This thing, it really looks nice. You could be proud of to have out in the water. You know, people would look at it and think it's a lot newer than a 96 because it really does show that way. Really worth taking a look. And as I'm sitting here, I notice one other thing trash inside the boat. What do you do with it? What's nice here is there's a storage bin right here for it. So you put your trash right away, everything's out of the way. Well that's it, this is the 1996 Sea Ray uh, 210 Signature. Uh, very nice looking boat. Oh, oh, one other thing, 234 hours on the engine, it's a 5.7 liter V8. Plenty of power for doing water sports and the hours are reasonable too for the age. Once again, thanks, we hope we get to see you soon.